racism at its core is already the very idea to separate humans into races. It's pseudoscience because scientifically, biologically, humans are one race. We are not genetically different enough to separate humans into different races. So racism is a pseudoscience. And if we have racist discrimination, there are several layers to this. One is the systemic racism and at the core, the most extreme variation of systemic racism is to have policies that are based on race. So if you have any policy that says you can only do this if you are of that or this race, then that's racist. Or if you have a policy that says you cannot do this unless you are of that race, then that's racist. If you have a policy that says every firm, every uh, business that is big enough must include a white person, then that's racist against people who are not white. And if you have a policy that says every business that is big enough must include a person that is of color, that is not white, then that policy is systemic racism against white people. It's just objective fact. It's like there's also systemic sexism because there are many policies that are based on a person's gender, a person's sex. So that's sexism. And if you have any kind of policy based on the person's race or perceived race, well, that's, that's racist, that's racism. There's also not just that's the jure systemic racism, there's also de facto systemic racism. And de facto systemic racism is when even though a policy states that there must not be any discrimination based on your race, if we still observe a factual discrimination based on race, then that's de facto systemic racism. But then, besides the, person, uh, the systemic racism, there is personal racism. People are racist. Most people are to a certain extent. It's natural. Like People fear the things that are different. It's xenophobia that is perfectly natural unless it goes beyond a certain extent and especially if it leads to crime. So I don't even care if somebody has bad feelings or, the, or a bad op opinion against me based on whatever, based on my sex, based on my race, based on whatever, as long as that person doesn't act upon that, right? And acting upon that can even be so much as just insulting me or even just insulting me online or whatever it is, that is already acting out on racism. And now a person can be racist, of course, against any race. There's a lot of racism against black people, like in, in our country especially, there's a lot of that going on. There's racism against Asians. And also there's racism against white people, absolutely. There are, for example, black people who hate white people and who will discriminate against them. That is personal racism and that is a reality that people are experiencing. People of every race can experience racism and people of every race can be racist. And the irony behind this that frankly it's racist to say <laughs> that a person can not be racist based on their race. Because person of any race can perfectly fine be racist against any other race. They can even be racist against their own race. It's uh, yeah, it's it's perfectly no, um, not perfectly normal. It's not normal. Uh, it's it's happening. It's perfectly possible to be racist against your own race. We observed it a lot. 
personal racism from white people against other white people. We also observe a lot of personal racism of black people against other black people, against people who are blacker or against like just self-hate or self-loathe. It's absolutely happening. It's absolutely happening. So yeah, systemic racism, personal racism, there's many layers to this and all of it stems from the same core. As I said in the beginning, and I want to make that point once again, 